Hey buddies, Mr. Puggy here coming at you in another Wonderlands video. Now there's been a lot of different weird buffs that have been coming out that have been hidden, but one of the biggest buffs that has ever come out since this patch is Livewire. Now Livewire is now able to deal even more damage than it was before. And to demonstrate that, I'm just going to real quick one shot the Parasite boss and just one melee swing. And I'm not using Contagion or anything like that. I'm just using a regular amulet. To activate the Contagion loop, you need status effect damage on your amulets of some kind so i'm just using a regular old all damage dealt amulet but before we get into the meat and potatoes on how this works don't forget to like comment subscribe and follow me on twitch on the top right you have no idea how much helps me out and let's get into the video legendary whoa, whoa. no way <laughs> Now the big reason why Livewire is now dealing so much more damage than it was before is the fact that it is now able to deal melee damage. There's a couple people who confirmed this in the Discord. I'm not sure who discovered it first. I can't find the source on who discovered it first. Personally at least, people started talking about it around 12 p.m. so I know it was discovered before other people put out videos for it. But pretty much what it does, every time you melee with it, it's going to instead of activating as gun damage source like it did before, is now going to activate as gun damage source. And the easiest way to show that is by activating the agent skill every single time we crit with a melee we're going to see a new status effect on the target now i'm going to be using a non-elemental pickaxe which means that even if we melee and hit we're not going to activate a status effect so i'm going to try to melee and try not to get a crit so we can try to see the agent skill activating from the live wire itself so i'm just going to melee this target right here we got a crit so i'm just going to retry that over on this target and right there, there wasn't a crit, but now we just got a crit and we're going to see now fire damage on the target. Now we only have shock and dark magic because I'm using corrupted plate mail to make sure I proc live wire every single melee and I'm not using contagion at all. So contagion isn't procking this fire damage. So we're getting the fire damage from the agent skill, which is only able to happen if we get a crit on a melee. So this proves that live wire is now doing melee damage, which is crazy. This is the reason why you're able to deal so much more damage than you were before, because now it's going to scale not only originally from your melee hit, it's also going to scale with all your melee multipliers that major melee damage deals some damage so it's sort of like a double dip from melee damage right there and i briefly touched on it before don't think that regular live wire is now proccing with melee damage regular live wire does not proc melee damage at all so the chains aren't going to deal melee damage unless you melee with the actual melee now this was confirmed by Ancient Ruin, so big shout to Ancient Ruin for discovering that. He's a very awesome theory crafter and a friendly face in the Borderlands community, as well as Wonderlands, but as well as Mega Mole, because Mega Mole figured out the damage formula for the live wire in case you're curious so i'm going to be showing it on the screen a is going to be the melee card damage and all the stuff he listed there as well as the melee formula and then b is going to be the calculation on how much damage is going to deal based on the amount of ammo you have left in the magazine as you guys might already know the less magazine you have in the live wire the more damage it's going to deal. That's why we have the live wire chain damage equals one plus four times B times A. <laughs> Use that as you will. I'll definitely be using it for when I'm calculating a couple of builds in the future. And I hope it serves you guys well. It's incredible how quickly Mega Mole was able to figure this out. <laughs> now, because of the fact that the live wire is now dealing melee damage, it's also going to benefit from the spell blade interaction where it makes all melee damage also scale with spell damage. Because of this, you could in theory go to spell shot get a bunch of spell damage easily from spell weave make your live wire also scale with spell damage as well which allows you to double dip the spell and melee at the same time when you swing your spell blade so keep that in mind if, if you want to try this out try it out with the spell blade as well if you have a spell shot because you're going to deal a ton of damage being able to double dip on not only melee but also spell on one single melee is absolutely bonkers and i suggest you try this out before it gets patched i really do think that this is completely unintentional because it was not how it was performing before and i think it might have just been a bug so try to enjoy it as you can. Maybe it'll stay like this and we'll have even more of a reason to use the live wire on melee builds because I mean, it, you know, it's kind of a staple already, but now it's even better than it was before. <laughs> but just try it yourself. I think it's stupid how much damage it's doing now. 
<laughs> but as always, a big shout out to the members who make these videos possible. We got Jace Noodles, Clairvoyance, Rick and Glacius, Josh Dig, 31 Bar 70, Grey Wolf, Wishkeeper, and Super Noob. These are the people who support me as little $5 a month, and you can also support me as little $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments in the description or in the top right to become a member. The more members we have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. And the last shall be First to immerse in a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Born a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain dolls